Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to talk about the Mezco Toys exclusive event. Well, event exclusive? Event exclusive. Or San Diego Mezco Con, wherever you got it from. We're going to talk about the Green Ranger. So, let's get started. I had the prev uh, privilege, <laughs> the, uh, the honor and privilege to photograph this for the production shots. Uh, so I got to work with an early copy. Now that I have to have one, uh, it's it's fun. It's fun. Uh, it's definitely different because if you have like the 301, hi Riley. If you have the 301, you know you are dealing with that metallic green. If you have the SHF one, you know what you're dealing with with older technology. So then it begs to differ. What's the question? Like, what does Mezco have to offer? And honestly, it's pretty nice. They use uh, a mix between a less superhero y body, but still a more muscular type of older adult body, which works if you want to go for like the adult Green Ranger vibes, which definitely works for me. But it still fits really well in what they offer with the teenagers with the attitude. Like, as you can see here, he looks really good. He looks really solid. He looks as a guy in a suit, which is the kind of stuff that I always aim for. Does he look like Barai from Zoo Ranger? No. But he does look like a Tommy in Green Ranger. So I, I work with that. One of the cooler things that I like to talk about is that on our helmet, we actually get what looks like latches and like the helmet opening up. Uh, does it do that? No, but it does look spectacular with that look. The Green Ranger helmet actually looks really well done. I like the detail added to it, and it does look very nice, which makes me feel like I'm super excited for what's to come with the others. Now, as far as our articulation, what we can do with our Dragon Shield, the Dragon Shield is removable, same with the armbands, uh, and I think that's really nice to have because you want to definitely have those options. So let's talk about our articulation on top of our look that we have here with our dragon shield. I have him a little puffed out, but as you can see here, he does look pretty solid, right? So we do, we can stretch our arm up. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it's like with the dragon shield removed because it's actually very difficult to get the arm up without getting in the way. Cause I hate kind of removing, I hate having to remove the shield, but I do want to be on the safe side because I, I don't have nails and I would be pinching in certain parts of the suit and I am going to say you should be careful with the pinching so as you can see this is what we look like underneath our dragon shield and as you can see here we definitely can hit a T pose like I said it's a little tough because those arms are there and uh, they're there <laughs> like they're rough to get to because of the dragon shield being in the way we do have a bicep swivel which is really strong we are double jointed if you have in the bands in a way you can actually move them slightly out of the way to get a better range of motion so you can move those guys up with little to no problem. Hi, Riley. Right. Then we can, you should slide these down before moving the arm down. So that way you know what you're getting into. Right. As far as our ab crunch, as you can see here, we have a beautiful upper torso movement, as well as a little bit of extra movement down there in the waist, which is pretty nice. And then when we pop our shield back on, which I'm going to do that because I want to show you guys the movement with the shield as well. If you're not sure what you can do to align with the tab, you can just lift up and line it up. So that just lines up right with his tab and it slides right back on. You shouldn't have any crazy issues with it, but if you do, just take your time and line it up. Our shield sits pretty high, but if you want to know about the head articulation, as you can see here, we can still rotate around with little to no issue. We can't look all the way up, but we do have some nice movement. We also get gauntlet swivel here in our gloves and as far as our legs go we can actually we actually have a nice bit of movement here I would say very be very careful here of bunching here and here I would recommend you hold down and, and pull down as you pull up the articulation here's our double joint here we do have thigh swivel as well you see that beautiful cut and then we have our ankle pivot now our ankle pivot actually is a little bit better on this body than we would expect on other bodies so i don't know if that's something that they're implementing across the board or it's just something that happened to work out for the green ranger when i got to do the display for the mighty morphin stuff it felt the same with them it's a little bit better of movement now i said i said it before and i'll say it again this guy absolutely does look fantastic posed up it's one of those things where this literally looks like a guy in a suit 
poses up phenomenally, looks fantastic. But that doesn't mean it's still for everybody. So it's one of those things where it may be too big for people. It may be too large. It may fit out of scale. If those are issues you're worried about, it may not be for you. But just overall, just sitting here posing him is actually quite exciting. It's really one of those things where I'm like, damn, this looks really good. Even on my camera, like now, this looks utterly fantastic. Now, I want to take this time to jump into the accessories. It's a lot. So let's get to it. All right. We are onward to accessories. Now, first thing I want to talk about is going to be our head scope. I guess we'll go over that first. We'll knock that one out. Here we are with our Jason David Frank scope. And I think this definitely looks like Jason David Frank. Rest in peace. Uh, but I think it does look like him. Obviously, it looks a little off when it's off camera. But as I look at it in person, I think it definitely does resemble him. It's one of those things. And I know they chose the darker green bandana. I know that's not for everyone, but I'm okay with that because he definitely wore darker greens as well in the show. One of the other cooler things we have is this Sword of Darkness. This actually is on a wired piece here. So if you can have this flow in the wind, you can. Then we actually have the Sword of Power. So they're including like all the cool things that Tommy has had throughout his adventures with the Power Rangers. One of the other things they included was going to be the obvious choice, our dragon dagger. Now, for those of you that are unprepared, I've seen this happen to a few people already. Please be aware that the buttons are on there that you can't push them down, but they are in a separate mold to where they actually function like buttons. So you have to be careful when actually sliding these into hands, uh, just having them lay around, press up against stuff, they will pop off. So please. Be careful. Hey, Riley. Sorry about that. When Riley, when Riley me as I call him, he gets a little, he's a little nervous. We also have our dragon dagger holster. Right. This bad boy opens up. You pop our dragon dagger in, and you can tap over. There is an opening here that you can just slide to the side, and it slides down the waist of where the belt is. If you're having a little bit of trouble, just squeeze. And just slide through and then look now you have your dragon dagger and holster in case you're wondering you will get the fighting spirit version as well this can also holster your blade blaster why do they give him a blade blaster because it's cool why not throw him a blade blaster they also give you a blade blaster that does fully transform which is pretty cool and when you have it in blade mode you want to pull back and then align this one actually gets a little tricky as you pull back into a line you actually can add the blade attachment to it as well so you can have the full blade blaster so yeah we will also get and I don't know if you guys remember this episode when he went inside a monster's belly from the inside and he had this weapon I cannot for the life of me remember it at this time, but he does come with this weapon. And even with this weapon, you will obviously get three different types of power blasts. One of them, also, these power blasts, one of them, the smallest one, also works with the blade blaster. So you actually have a bunch of different effects that you can use here for both your cannon and the blade blaster. Here is our smaller effect for that as well. It's actually very, very small. And speaking of, let's go back and grab the Dragon Dagger. You will also get some effects for your Dragon Dagger. So you will get that green energy beam from when he hit the Power Rangers with it. Let's actually get a little bit more focus on it. There we go. This actually slides on with little to no issue. Slides off as well. Looks really good. Right? Then you'll also get some green lightning effects. These can also carry around the Dragon Dagger as well. Here's a nice example for you. Looks really, really good. And you'll get two of these effects. You can also align them up with the Sword of Darkness in case you are wondering, it does work with the Sword of Darkness. Then you will also get a slew of hands. Let's talk about those right now. You will get some opened action hands. You will get item holding slash dagger holding hands. And again, I do recommend when you are placing your dragon dagger inside, these are soft hands, so you can just open them up all the way. Please don't be scared 
to like not open them, please do. You will get the gun holding hands. These you can also use for your dragon dagger as well. They aim a little bit more diagonal, add a little bit of flair to your item holding and weapon holding hands, as well as with your sword of darkness. You will get dragon flute playing hands. Now, I do want to say this because of the musculatory design, he can't do the exact dragon dagger pose, but you can get as close as possible. I have done a photo with it, so there is that. And then last but not least, you'll also get some martial arts posing hands. Right? So again, I think that's probably the one bummer about this is going to be you can't get close enough for the dragon dagger uh, playing hands to get really close because the shield isn't soft enough. But you will get it to where you can actually get close enough, but not actually perfect. But you can get a lot of good poses out of it. So again, it's one of those things where it's going to be the trade off for you. If that is a deal breaker, it may not be for you, but you can do the one handed dragon flute. And I know y'all remember that because he was busting out that flute song when he was beating the bricks off of Jason. Do not forget that because he definitely did do that. Now, without further ado, we're going to jump into the size comparison. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right. All right. Now we're going to jump into the size comparison. This way it gets a little tricky because I was trying to figure out what could I compare him to for stuff. And obviously you want to see what it looks like next to the SHF and the Lightning Collection. I do not have the Bandai of American one. I never collected the Bandai of America stuff. Not even for parts, so I don't have anything. So here we are with his SHF counterpart, which came out many, 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 many moons ago. Here we are with our Lightning Collection one, which is also not far off. This is more recent. So we actually have a lot of offerings for Green Ranger. And as you can see here, I, I like all of my options, but right now the best looking one is probably going to be in the middle for Mesco, but it's obviously going to be the largest option as well. So in case you are wondering how he stacks up, with other figures and, and other lines. Let's get into that now. So let's do that. Let's take these guys away. Just for fun, I'm going to do the Dino Black. So you guys can see just how much bigger he is. So if you, in case you want to have those two fight each other, you can just see how ginormous he is, right? In case you want to see with a putty would look like. And putties are smaller. And then you have monsters like Parantis Head who are still gigantic. And so this actually works out with the monsters. So in case you want to have them fight monsters, monsters are indeed still bigger. So it works itself out. It It's like a balancing act, right? But here's where it does get tricky because when you want them to fight characters like Lord Zed, Lord Zed works, right? But Rita Repulsa might be a little bit more on the smaller side, which I'm okay with because she's a 20,000 year old witch but she can actually change her height at will. She makes monsters grow, so it doesn't even matter. But with Zed, I think we're in a very good place with how Zed kind of lines up. Yeah, he's normally towering over the Rangers, but as an adult Green Ranger, I feel like we're in a good spot, right? As before, you fought literal 15-year-olds. <laughs> Here we are with an SHF Kamen Rider birth, so you can see how SHF Kamen Rider stacks up. These guys are tiny in, in comparison, all right? Then you have stuff like a Marvel Legends Steve Roger, which Mezco does stack out pretty well with. And then if you want to use some other aliens from other lines, here is the Cosmic Legions Spexian Guard Commander. He really works really well here. Uh, that one actually works really, really well, right? Take this guy away, then we can stack up to some other stuff. So here is a G.I. Joe Bat. It's fully decked out. It's a Crimson Bat decked out, but yeah. And then you have some other stuff like Valiverse. I have a female figure here, but the Valiverse stuff is normally a little bit bigger. And as you can see here, you can see what you're getting into. Now, like I said, this is one of those lines where you got to figure out Power Ranger is what you're going to do. And I think that the monsters are probably the best bet to work well in fighting for your Green Ranger. Uh, you can use that in Rita, but probably in like distance or perspective shots which will work well. It also does work well with other domestic lines, which is pretty cool. Now, thank you so much for watching it and being patient. I know you guys saw the photos ages ago. I know you've been wondering, but I've been back to back doing conventions, trying to really bust out a lot of videos. And honestly, it's not easy to get back into the groove because I kind of like the freedom of not doing videos, but I do enjoy videos, but I like breaks. It was a very well needed break. 
got to socialize, got to see friends, got to see family, uh, and it was much needed. So thank you for being patient and hoping that I buzz out these videos and you guys like it. So as always, thank you so very much. And as always, please be good, do good, drink your water, guys. Later.